how much does it cost to plant algae? At no cost, really, to start it. But to produce farms of it, you might need tanks, which will cost money. You might need tanks. You might not need plenty land because you can stack the tanks. You can stack them in racks. You can put them in racks, etc. However, the problem with that is that they need light. They need light. So if you rack them, it means you must provide light for those ones that are below. But if you put them in the open, yes, they need light for, for photosynthesis for production because they are photosynthetic, they are autotrophic. They produce their own food. They don't depend on others. And they are usually not parasitic. Various generations of biofuel feedstock can be made use of in place of agricultural crops. The benefits and prospects of biodiesel production is huge and numerous. Talk of renewable energy and then non-renewable. So biofuel is renewable, just like you have solar, wind, hydro. All those ones are renewable, just like biofuel, using algae. So if you use algae, you're not competing with anything. You have your corn, you have your millet, you have your sugar cane, and still use the algae. You don't have to add anything, because the waste, all in know, little space, and you produce what you need. So what we actually lack is the, the technology. Deliberate efforts should be made by the government in terms of massive capital investment, training of manpower in the field of biofuel or biodiesel development, granting tax holidays to will-be investors, companies and individuals, amongst many other things. The algae can have as much as 60% of their biomass as oils. Depending on the strain you're using, it varies from one strain or species to another species. Um, it is very clean because they are efficient converters of solar energy, of light energy, into organic materials. They do it more efficiently than any known natural component. They do it better than even the machines we produce. So, um, in their production system, they utilize simple inorganic materials and they produce useful organic materials. In terms of technology transfer into Nigeria, experts say the country is still lagging behind. Dr. Lukumbi tells us more about the processes involved in biodiesel production through algae. It's a very simple process, very straightforward, that can actually go as low as teaching a primary school student to do it. Now, what you need is to identify the algae that you want to use. And that is not just going to any water body and picking the algae. They are microscopic. You collect the water sample, you identify and isolate different species of algae present in the water. Now, it is not all the species of algae that are potential uh, candidates for biodiesel production. You have to carry out some experiments. You cultivate the algae on a large scale. You get a biomass. If it's just for the laboratory experiment, you don't need uh, a large biomass. Just a little quantity is enough. You cultivate it, then we dry it. It becomes like a powder form. Then with this simple process of um, uh, trans esterification, you get your uh, uh, fatty acid from algae and you are ready to go. You transform the fatty acid into biodiesel and you have your biodiesel. If adequate policy framework is put in place and the necessary political will is expressed and applied to the development and production of biodiesel in the country, the economy will be better for it. The prospects and benefits of biodiesel production or development are enormous. There is no doubt it is very crucial for the development of every economy. And that's our program for the day. Thank you for being a part of it. We hope to be back with you next week. And don't forget, our inbox at file at channelstv.com 
is always available. From all of us here in Lagos, it's bye for now.